Hi, this is just going to be a really quick video to introduce the next little model that I'm building here. I've been flying an AOS 5.5 inch uh, quad for about the last year and really, really liking it. It's a very nice quad to fly, except it's pretty fragile, at least for my style of flying. And um, every time I crash, basically I break a talk plate or something like that. And so I've decided that I'm going to keep that frame, but not use it with uh, a GoPro on it anymore. And so I need to replace that with a GoPro carrying quad. What we have here is a six inch quad that I'm going to build out um, based on a Source One frame that I got cut by CNC drones. It was just a special order cut. It's got seven millimeter arms and uh, it is for a six inch uh, prop size. I got some just basic green knurled standoffs to use with it. I'm going to be using a Speedy B F405 50 amp stack with it. And so this is plenty for what I need. It's affordable. That's why I got it. Motors are just going to be Emax 2207. I still fly my quads on 4S. And so these are 2400 kV. For a six inch prop, that's probably a little bit on the high side but my intention is to fly this with bi-blades, so that probably should be okay. In terms of FPV, I'm going to be using uh, Mamba, Diatone Mamba 1 Watt VTX, Foxier camera, we've got here a lost model finder that I will be using, some battery straps. These ones are actually from Rotor, Vi Rotor Village here. They're out of Winkler, Manitoba. Nice little town if you ever get to go there. Um, and these are actually really nice straps. They're Kevlar based and they have um, sticky stuff on them. So they're I'm not sure if it's rubber or, or what exactly, but they're both really, really strong and they're, they're tacky. And so they actually grip onto the battery really nicely, which is something I like. And um, I've got this, not sure exactly which brand this is, but it's a, a sticky battery pad stuff. Your stuff for your battery pad should be sticky so that it actually grabs onto the battery itself and this is good for that. That's all of the parts that I'm going to be putting into this. So this is not going to be a very detailed build series or anything like that. This is going to be me telling you what these parts are. I'm going to I'm going to go away and build the thing and then uh, come back and sort of go through the process of, of what uh, kind of what I needed to do. This is a very simple frame to build on. Just to give it a quick idea, you, it comes designed with a 30, 30 by 30 stack um, intended. It's got place for 20, 20 by 20 or 25. I can never remember those numbers. The, the next smaller size down, 25 by 25 or 20 by 20, whatever the next smaller size is. And so it's got a space for actually three of those back, middle, and at the front. Um, but my intention here is just to use a full size 30 by 30 stack and put the VTX at the back. Um, although I might actually be able to stack all three in, in the center. So that's my plan. I'm going to start putting the frame together on this Source One six inch build that I'm doing right now. And as the very first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this um, damping grease. It's Nye PG44A. It's really thick damping grease. And I'm just going to apply it sort of around all of the surfaces that will be in contact with each other. And so I'll put some on each of the arms, on each of the plates on both sides where anything will be touching. And it'll provide a lot of vibration dampening. And so it's uh, not a hard process, except it's a really goopy, sticky, gross kind of process. Well, maybe not gross, it's just really sticky. The um, gel itself, it's, it's kind of more like a gel than a grease in, in a way, but it's actually just a grease. Um, you can see how it's so stringy and it just wants to keep going like that. And you do not need much. So there's a, just a little dab that I'm going to put on there and that will be plenty to spread around. Probably need another little dab to finish the other side. It's just a thin layer. And I know that it stops just past that 
second hole there. So I will just put it like that. And make sure there's just a nice even layer of it across that whole surface. Well, that's really all there is to it. So what I need to do is do that to all of the surfaces that we'll be touching before I bolt it together. And that'll help quite a bit with any kind of unwanted vibration noise that might get to the, uh, to the flight controller. So this is a freshly built 6 inch TBS Source 1 with Express LRS on it and I've just finished putting it together and I'm going to do a hover test to make sure that it all works as it should. Let's hope it works. Alright, nothing complicated, just a hover test to make sure it all works. Yeah, it's complicated, I can't plug it in. And Weaver works. And the video works. prop going the wrong way somehow I think it's on right it's on right it's on right it's on right to show all props out which is good I think motor number two is going backwards let's find out It's not. Oh, <laughs> I never told it in beta flight that I was flying pop props out. That'll do it. Here we are with beta flight, and that's the setting in the motors tab. And I think that should take care of all the problems we were having. So let's find out if that's true. Hover task number two. Be a good idea to plug this stupid thing in. I was flying line of sight, which I don't do. things considered it seems to work 